Okay, what I did was record on GarageBand, then put a compressor effect on it, then I'll actually take the track that I recorded, duplicate it, then what I'm going to do is pan each one of the tracks left and right. So this one I'll pan to the left and go back. This one I'll pan to the right. It makes me wonder if I pan the other one to the left. That one's to the left, yeah. Okay, so now I've got you know, essentially just a little mixing trick of panning each track. Well, what I did is this track here I just recorded. Well, I hit record on GarageBand, then double tap the button, switched over to my video app, and I recorded me playing so that I could go to GarageBand. Now I've got it panned left and right, play it, then try to match up the audio. And what I'll do to do that, see it's a little off right there, but what I'm going to do is take that song and select it, wait, I'm going to hit select, you select it, then you upload it, and you, what you do is say open in. You want to share. It'll export for a second. Then you're going to open it in iMovie. See? Open it in iMovie. It'll ask you existing project or not. You say create new movie. It then drops the audio file right into there. And now what you're going to do is just hit open up your pictures, grab the last one that you did, and there you go. You've got the audio from GarageBand affected over top of the video in iMovie. And now all you've got to do is spend a little minute getting them synced up. Obviously that's taken a while so I'll close those in. And you try to find cues as to... So I just heard that. Then, alright, beat starts then. Okay, so I swung this guitar a little fast. So I'll chop a little off of that and see how they match up now. And I noticed that the volume was down on that track, so let's see. Looks like I might have gotten them. Alright, it's still off a little bit, but you can see where I'm going there, and I'll just take a second to get it lined up, and I'll show you.